Right, we have a three marker here on the required practical on chromatography. We have a chromatogram here. So that's the final result after chromatography has taken place. And the question says, what three conclusions can you make about the dyes in the food coloring? So we've got the food coloring here on the right hand side. And after chromatography, it has split up into these three dyes. So one of the conclusions that we can make is that the food coloring is made out of three different dyes because there's three different spots there. That's one mark, we need two more marks. So what we can do now is compare those dots with the other three dyes on the chromatogram. So if they're on the same level, it means they have the same RF value, which means they're essentially the same type of dye. So you can see here, these two dots are on the same line, they're on the same level. So we can assume that they're the same dye. So we can say that food coloring Y contains dye A in it. Another one that matches is dye C because both of those are at the same level. So food coloring Y also contains dye C. So we've matched two of the dyes in food coloring Y. The only one that hasn't been matched is this top one. So that one over there is an unknown dye. So that's where we get two marks from. So one we say Y contains dye A and C and for the other we can say Y contains an unknown dye. That's how you get three marks here.